Someone who was happily in the spotlight yesterday has been identified as an imposter. During our Remembrance Day coverage, we spoke to a man in uniform adorned with medals. He identified himself as a sergeant, but almost immediately, members of the Canadian forces started to question that. James Cudmore has the story. The crowds at yesterday's Remembrance Day ceremony were larger than normal, and it seemed there were more uniforms than usual, too. This is Sergeant Frank Gervais, and Frank, I was just talking... Each one told a story, but the story this uniform told was apparently false. What is it like for you to be here today? Well, for me, it's uh, for the first to remember what people have done for us. Viewers noticed some red flags and got in touch, so we dug into it and learned Frank Gervais is apparently not a member of the Canadian Forces. It seems he's an imposter, but there he was at the National War Memorial in the uniform of a paratrooping sergeant, a member of the Royal Canadian Regiment, the RCR, and an elite patrol pathfinder to boot. You cannot be a stranger in the airborne community. Jake Flanders is a retired major and a former paratrooper. He served in Afghanistan four times. He's never heard of Gervais. All sorts of people, ex-airborne people, and, uh, and, and, and military jumpers were all over Facebook saying, does anybody know this guy? It looks like this is not the first time Gervais has put on that uniform either. Here he is on his wedding day. There's the red sash of an infantry sergeant slung across the wrong shoulder, and the gold braid? Only officers wear that. One of them is the, uh, the Medal of Bravery. I mean, Chris Dupee fought in Afghanistan with the RCR. It's not just the uniform that's wrong, he says. It's the Medal of Bravery on Gervais' chest. He's got pictures of him with lo what looks to be in-laws, you know, and they're proud of him. And that's, that's exactly what you call stolen valor. He's stealing our valor, uh, what we've worked so hard for. Our standards were established in blood, lots of it, lots of sacrifice, lots of courage, you know, and to have someone uh, use us as a prop for self-glory is frankly pathetic. And possibly illegal, according to Veterans Affairs Minister Julian Fantino. It's an actual criminal code offense, so I would suspect that somebody should investigate and, uh, and, uh, and pursue the issue. Frank Gervais didn't respond to our request for an interview. The Governor General's office says he's not a recipient of the Medal of Bravery, and the military says it has no indication Gervais has ever served. James Cudmore, CBC News, Ottawa.